Hi then, welcome along. This is UK Physio Paul Goff. Today we're going to talk all about knee cartilage problems and meniscal tears, uh, or what might be more familiar to you, that pain in your knee, the swelling, the constant give and wear, the constant ache, the thing that's stopping you from doing the sport or being as active as you'd love to be. So uh, this is also one of the most common problems that we'll see in a physio clinic, but it's also one of the most confused. Uh, there's a huge difference between knee cartilage in terms of degeneration and the meniscal tears that are very common in, for example, football or some other form of sport. So, uh, welcome along. Uh, we're going to talk all about that and more specifically, um, we're going to talk about what they are, why they're a problem and how physiotherapy can help you. By the end of this video, um, I hope that you'll be able to understand uh, and know which one is happening to you, whether it's the image on the left, the degenerative stuff, or is it the knee cartilage on the right, which is called the meniscal tear. So uh, we'll talk through both of those. Um, before we do, I'll just introduce you to myself. Uh, that's me. Um, my previous career before working um, in this physio clinic is uh, was as Darlington and Middlesbrough Football Club physio here in the Northeast. Um, more recently, uh, I've got to work abroad in places like America with people like Manchester United's Paul Scholes uh, at his recent soccer camp over there in America. So um, you can imagine sports injuries, these sort of meniscal type problems, quite common to uh, to myself. So. Before we go any further, I want to introduce you to the real problem with a knee cartilage. There is so much confusion between exercises and exercising when trying to help yourself. Uh, you may have visited a GP or been told that you need to exercise. Okay, it's true, but you need to be exercising in the right way. And there's a difference between exercises and exercising. And if you have a knee that looks something like that on the left, and you go away and you try to run, or you try to go walk on a pills, or you try to bike ride, without the, the appropriate strength at your knee, you will have a problem and you'll probably increase your pain tenfold easily. So understand that there is a difference between doing exercises that will strengthen muscles to protect your knee and exercising, such as bike riding, walking or running, which will probably irritate your knee even further. So we'll talk through that as we go along. Uh, but first, let's confirm that you actually do have a knee cartilage. This is the degenerative stuff, the degenerative problem. Um, it'll likely be a gradual onset. and It'll happen somewhere to you, probably around about 40 to 50. And although the, your knee cartilage, you might think it's a sports injury, we see just as many of a person who just likes to go for a walk, doesn't necessarily regard themselves as a sports person. They just love to be active. They love to garden. They love to go for walks. They love to spend time with their family, twist and turn and clean in the house. All of these things contribute to this gradual onset of a problem. Likely to happen somewhere between 40, 50 and 60. And the degenerative cartilage, that stuff that you can see on the white um, of the image that you're looking at on your left, I've highlighted in blue, that's starting to crack and that starts with a dull ache, okay? It'll start to be, it leads to a really sharp pain. Swelling is a problem. And the difference between that and this meniscal problem, meniscal is more sporty, it's more likely to happen if you're uh, involved in a fall or a twist. So it could still happen to you in everyday life. But for example, if you've been playing football or basketball or you've been for a run in the hills, you're a fell runner of Gisborough or somewhere in Durham and you fell and twisted sharply, you're likely to damage your meniscus. So sharp pain, definitely. And you will probably experience once the initial pain is settled, that initial sort of acute pain as we call it where you've just done the injury and it's causing you a problem you're likely to have sharp pain to start with but then you'll get periods that are pain free and it could go for two or three days without being any problems then all of a sudden it'll catch you it will more than likely hurt when you twist a turn and locking and giving way is a problem so when you're walking in straight lines and you're just sort of living your everyday life usually with a meniscus it ain't too bad but as soon as you try to up your level of activity or you need to twist or sharp uh, sharply turn you'll get a problem Locking and giving way, and that kind of means that when your knee it gets stuck in a certain position, you're trying to kick it out all the time, and it just sort of won't release. So that's the locking and giving way will just mean that randomly you're wandering down the street or unsafely sort of going up and down stairs. Your knee just feels as though it's going to give way all the time, and that's usually how you would distinguish a meniscal tear. So let's look back at the degeneration, de degenerative stuff um, of the knee cartilage. What is it? Um, it's basically the stuff that's designed to allow your knee bones to move smoothly. And if you have a little look at that image there, um, obviously the white stuff is kind of what it looks like when you're 5, 10, 15, 20 year old. And as time progresses, you can see that that lovely soft smooth cartilage starts to wear down and um, even starts to irritate the edge of the bone, which doesn't look nice there. As you can see, it's red, it's painful and it's, it's inflamed. And that's kind of what your knee looks like once you get to about 40, 45, unless you're very lucky damage is caused if you're an active person you wear the wrong shoes you do loads of running you played football and netball all your life you've been walking in sort of gisborough woods or hartley pool along the seafront every day for 20 30 years you're likely to have a problem with this cartilage and it's gradually wearing down as time goes on and um, this gives you a great explanation that's somewhere in your 30s how that nice soft cartilage looks one or two cracks a few problems starting to uh, appear 
40 to 50 usually when you start to hear these clicks and these clunks and these cracks and you get out of bed in the morning and you think your knees causing all sorts of noises and it is because of now this rough surface that you've got and by the time you get to 60 that's the problem so if you try to exercise on a knee that looks something like that without it being strong and without getting the support from your muscles you're gonna have a problem so the meniscal tear this is a c-shaped ring of cartilage and as you look at it on the image there um, you can see there's a difference between the meniscus and the degenerative stuff that I've just been showing you it classes a shock absorber and what happens is a flap breaks loose so why do you get the pain and restriction in fact I'm just going to show you that again this flap breaks loose there if you just have another look you can see underneath that nice um, ring of c-shaped cartilage is one that is just broken away and that's kind of what would happen if you were going to go for an arthroscopy they would just cut that out which is the surgery that often people need with um, a meniscal tear so why do you get the pain and the restriction it's a protective layer that's gone so now you've got this thing we call it bone on bone um, the bone can become loose and that can cause swelling when anything is inside that knee that doesn't or just shouldn't be there um, it can cause the swelling um, and the nerves can be exposed and the best way I can explain that to you once you've gone through that nice soft white cartilage these bones start rubbing together you get your clinks you get your, cl your clucks your cracks your anything that causes noises basically that you're hearing and the bone is rubbing against each other now if that happens over time it'll wear two bits of sandpaper effectively rubbing together and it's the equivalent of taking a filling out of your tooth the filling protects your mouth your gums whatever from cold or hot stuff that's going to irritate the nerve and once that nerve gets irritated in your tooth imagine how painful it is it's kind of the same thing going on at your knee as well so importantly how can physio help uh, well you need hands-on treatment those muscles are not going to be very good we're going to get them moving we need to do deep massage lots of stretches we'll give you a great explanation of what you've done how it's happened how we can stop it happening or limit the damage to your knee and it'll be appropriate to your life so if you're a runner obviously we'd give you different advice if you were just somebody who loves to garden or you just love to pot around the house or go for a walk along the seafront on a night and we'll also give you exercises to do at home now again these things would be completely different depending upon what you want to achieve uh, and what sort of level of activity you want to get back to um, and just a little example there of the exercises that we would possibly give you the real value for money in seeing a physio will tell you exactly when it's safe to return not when it's okay to return because your pain has settled but when it's safe to return without the risk of that injury coming or that pain coming straight back so in brief the degenerative type stuff um, it'll take three to four weeks three or four sessions you need lots of deep massage stretches and exercises and if you've got the meniscal tear well it's more than likely that you'll need a referral to a specialist but we'll be able to tell you that and one of the benefits of coming to see us we can instantly tell you um, you can get on and find your help and we'll obviously uh, point you in the right direction of the people that can help you you'll also need exercises whether you're going to go for the surgery or not anyway so where are we we're in darlington durham gisborne hartlepool um, that's an image inside of our hartlepool clinic um, one thing that we offer every patient who comes into this clinic is um, a get your session free if physio can't help so if it turns out there's nothing we can do to help you um, we will always give you a session free but at the very least we'll try and diagnose your injury and tell you where you should be going to get your help next so to book your session or even if you just want to speak to one of our physios you can call us 0800 043 8671 is our number uh, and just before i finish um a quick look inside our clinic just in case you're interested and you want to know what it's like inside that's the gisborne clinic on the left um that's our staff believe it or not involved in a yoga session just about everybody we employ everybody you'll meet in this business is really active they're really outgoing very friendly very fun um and we get them and everybody takes part in sort of things like yoga and pilates classes and that's our yoga class that takes place at 7 30 every morning um so just to let you know knee cartilage and meniscal tears we can definitely help you hands-on treatment, explanation of your injury, exercises to do at home, and we'll also tell you when it's safe to return to activity. If it turns out that it's the meniscal tear, we'll give you a referral to a surgeon. Okay, we'll tell you who to see, and that gets you started with a recovery process that you need. So physio can help you either way. To book your session, like I say, 0800 043 8671. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon.